If you've got TBS Crossfire and you're experiencing fail safes at unusually short range, there is a setting in TBS Crossfire that could be to blame. It's the region or frequency setting. And if you've set it wrong, you're going to interfere with and get interference from cell phone networks in your area. And here's the big kicker. The TBS Tango 2, one of the most popular Crossfire radios today, it ships with the wrong setting for a lot of people. I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're going to learn something today. Let's take a look inside the radio at the setting that we are talking about. And we're going to be looking at the TBS Tango 2, but these same settings are present in any TBS Crossfire radio. So I'm going to go down into TBS Agent Lite. And by the way, if you're not familiar with it, TBS Agent Lite is the new version of the TBS Crossfire Lua script, except it works with all TBS devices and it is way nicer to use and more full featured. I've got a video about how to install TBS Agent Lite on your radio and you should definitely check it out after you've finished watching this one, link in the video description. I'm gonna go into TBS Agent Lite and I'm gonna choose the Tango 2 Crossfire and I'm gonna go to General Settings and here we're gonna see two settings that are relevant. One is the Region setting and one is the frequency setting. And holy crap, I swear I did not set this up. This Tango 2 has come straight from the factory and is set with the wrong setting for the United States. I guess that makes sense. The United States is not all of the world. In fact, it's less than most of all of the world. So it makes sense that they would ship this Tango 2 set to the European slash rest of the world settings. As we see in this page from the TBS Crossfire user manual, the main thing that these settings do is control what frequency and output power the radio will use. Different countries have different regulations about what frequencies and output powers you're allowed to use. So we can look at this page from the TBS Crossfire user manual and see that ITU Region 1, Europe, Africa, Middle East is 868 megahertz and the uh, rest of the world basically is IT region two and three, which use 915 megahertz. Now, the simplest thing you can do is go into the menu, go down to the region and change it from open to one of these choices. Don't do this for reasons I'm gonna tell you about in a second. When you set the region, it will automatically set the frequency and output power to the correct settings for that region. So we've got the choice of FCC, CTIC and CE. Now, here's why I say not to do that. Once you do this, your radio will lock itself to that region and you can reset it. Uh, there's a special keystroke you use to reset it. So I'm going to leave my region on open. Instead, I'm going to manually choose the frequency that I'm going to set. And when we look at the frequency, you might think that the choice would be just 868 or 915, but it's actually a little more complicated than that. Again, going back to the Crossfire user manual, you can see that setting the frequency to 868 or 915 will simply put Crossfire on those frequency bands. It will be able to use the maximum output power and there will be no other restrictions. This is what most people are going to do, even though technically that isn't going to be legal in some areas. For example, if we look down here to the region settings, you can see that the FCC setting causes the radio to operate at 915 megahertz with a maximum output power of one watt but some Crossfire devices can go up to two watts. So you can just decide whether you would like to use this setting, which limits you to one watt, or whether you would like to use this setting, which lets you go to full output power. We've also got a choice here, 868CE, which uses 868 megahertz, but with a technique called listen before talk. LBT is designed to avoid interference between uh, this device and other authorized users of the band. It will reduce performance in some ways. Like I think if you're doing LBT, you can't have telemetry. At least that's true for FreeSky. I'm not sure if it's true for Crossfire because nobody does that because they just set it to 868 megahertz and then they get maximum performance. But this is here in case you want to follow the rules. And the same is true for 915 FCC. 915 FCC is the same as the CE or FCC mode, but with no limitations in power level. In other words, these little things here and these little things here are designed to keep regulatory bodies happy. 
because TBS can say that, oh, look, we're following all the rules, see? But they also give you the option of choosing not to follow the rules if you feel like it. Finally, we've got 868 race and 915 race, and these frequency bands are designed for use in racing environments where dropped packets are particularly undesirable. Uh, in these bands, the bandwidth of the system is doubled, which helps avoid fail-safes, but uh, you should only be using this in race environments, presumably because the range gets a lot shorter, although I don't know that for sure, but why else would they tell you not to do it all the time? There's one more catch here from the manual, which is that if you change the frequency band while the radio is bound and the receiver is powered up, then it will be instantaneous. But if you change the frequency band while the receiver is powered down, you will need to rebind it before the change will take effect. So let's go back to the beginning of the video where I asked the question, is your crossfire fail safing at really short range? If you have the wrong frequency band set up, that can cause your crossfire to fail safe at very short range. Because in the United States, 868 megahertz is used by the cell network and 915 megahertz is used for devices like crossfire. If you are transmitting on 868 megahertz, two bad things are hap gonna happen. Number one is that cell towers will interfere with you and cause you to fail safe just randomly when you're near a cell tower, which is like all the time. And you will interfere with the cell towers, which if you do it consistently enough, is gonna piss off the cell companies and who knows, they may come find you and be very mad at you. Probably that's not gonna happen, but you never know. So you always wanna make sure that you are on the right frequency band, either 868 megahertz for, well, look back at that map I showed you from the user manual, 868 megahertz for, Ocean for Asia and Europe and 915 megahertz for the USA and Australia. That's the bottom line. And if you've got a Tango 2 and you're in the USA and you didn't check this, Go check it right now. How are you not fail safing all the time? Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying. You guys, I don't know where I am and I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but if I don't make it out of this, I just wanna know that you subscribe to my channel or, or maybe join my Patreon or, or click, one of, click one of these videos I picked out for you. Ha 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 ha